I just finished baking bread and the banana bread is in the oven so hopefully, yeah, definitely something is over here. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Hello everyone, today a new video and this time I have a something new. Tunisian crochet. In this bag I keep the 100% wool that I got in Poland and I've decided, well I have more but I decided to kick it so maybe you can see it, how I do it, and then decided to take a hook and and play with it a little bit. I know I promised you a tutorial how I did this basket because you can see the finished object video over here in the eye. So when you finish watching this video, you can go and check it out. But basically, this is the bottom of that box that I use that technique from. Did I say it right grammatically? Anyway, hopefully you get me. So basically, to make the bottom of that box, I did this. Obviously I made more stitches and I had to crochet for a little bit longer but until when I got that moment I did a single stitch crochet like a standard crochet method and I started to build walls. Therefore I thought it'd be very fun to show you how I actually make that little piece trying to create a short tutorial. Check it out. Do you want to see how I made it? So let's do it together. First hook, yarn, we're going to make a loop put the yarn under, pull it through on the hook, pull those two um, strands just to make it not too tight, not too loose. And I'm going to cast on 10 stitches. So I put the uh, hook under the yarn and pull it through. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Once I've done that, what I'm going to do, I will be putting the hook not through the first stitch over here that the yarn is coming through, but through this second one. And I'm going to put it through so I can see two legs, right, of, the, of that stitch. So again, hook under, pull it through and leave it on the hook. So let's do that. So we finish the row and to completely finish it you just need to pull that yarn through the last stitch one more time. I think it's just to even up the round. And now what we're going to do next, through all those stitches we're going to pull the yarn through two stitches. And we'll repeat that um, till the end. I know you may not like my fuzzy yarn so hopefully you can see it. Um, I recommend you to maybe watch other tutorials just in regards to this, but um, hopefully you, you're getting what I'm doing. And now when we finish and we have only one stitch on the hook, we're going to go back and I think it's a standard Tunisian stitch. And what you're looking at is, is if you stretch the fabric, you could see it creates like um, a squares. We have the columns, our stitches, and then the roof. <laughs> or the floor of the house. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to omit the first column and we're going to put the hook and grab that column, that wall, and put the hook under the yarn and pull it through. So again, we find the wall, our stitch, put the hook through and we will just repeat that till the end of the row. And I think it is a standard Tunisian crochet. Um, obviously you can use your imagination and do even more stuff with it, which is quite fun. And the last. Now don't forget to put an extra loop through the last stitch. And we can go back, which basically we're pulling the yarn through two stitches and then we repeat that till the end. Now you can make it as long, as short as you want to. We basically create the bottom of the box. As you can see, the fabric has a tendency to roll and I finished one part. So I came back to the section that I will be um, lifting up our, I call it towers, because that is the last row. If you want to finish the piece. 
Now, I'm happy with the bottom, and what I'm going to do, instead of finishing, I will be crocheting in the round. So what you can spot, you can speed the, spot those little pieces sticking out, and that's where I will be putting my yarn through, and pulling it through, and then pulling it through two stitches. I think that's, it's a, this is called in standard crocheting, single crochet stitch. So pull it through, and then pull through two stitches. And you just continue that. Over here, I'll put it one more time in the corner through the same hole. And one more time. So I increased my two stitches and then I will keep on going with a single stitch. And I got to the next corner and I'm going to do the same thing. Once I did one single stitch, I'm going to increase twice and I continue the edge. And this edge, as I have nice Vs, I'll be putting the hooks through two legs. Another corner, so I'm going to put it through and do one and add extra two and one more time. Lovely, continue another edge. And our last corner, so again, put it through, do one and add an extra two. Lovely, and the final edge. As you can see, I went all around and just to hide it nicely before this final one, you could see stitches. The last one, I'm going just to grab the yarn and pull it through also remaining one. So that's kind of closes, closes my square. As you can see, and that's that, what I'm going to do, I'm going just to pull the yarn through one more time break it and that's it. So I'm going to use it for my soap. Let's take the needle, pull it through. Okay. That's that. Yes, this is for beginners. Tunisian crochet is very simple, although it's quite involving with your wrist. I'm just saying, I had, I think, two injuries, so I'm hearing clicks when I'm doing this. Therefore, I don't make that many crochet projects. Knitting for me is better because I'm just move moving my fingers, not my wrists. But I love it! So from time to time, I'm definitely grabbing a hook and making these, and I'm going to make more of these. And you were wondering what I'm going to use it for. I know I had an idea that I'm going to make a small box, but it took me a while to set up everything, and I was just, no! So this is going to be a coaster for our soap in the bathroom. And I know it will not work for every bathroom, but everything dries in our bathroom. So I'm hoping to test it. Will it do that? Obviously it will soak with the water and there will be some bits of soap left on it. And we shall see how it goes. Does it go to dry or not? If not, what I'm going to do at the end of the day, I'm just going to take this and use it as my body wash cloth and definitely make more of these because I think they're very handy like you know I grab it like that and I think it's going to work but it's 100% wool so I presume it's going to be a little bit smelly which we shall see will I handle therefore no worries don't have you don't have to use 100% wool you can grab 100% cotton what I thought also what I can do I can do a smaller mat for our cats and see how that goes but you know so many ideas and so little time. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe, like if you want more knitting and crocheting inspiration. On the screen, two videos, maybe one of those will grab your heart and that's it for me. I'm going to the kitchen and check on my banana cake. Enjoy crocheting!